You're watching Influence Me Wednesday with Morale All Things Hair. Hello, and yes, you are here with me. My name is Morello Kane, and we are online. And you guys definitely, definitely want to hear about um, this letter we have that was submitted. I tell you, um, this is juicy. You're going to want to hear about this. Okay, deal breaker. All right, is the name of this letter. Yes. And let me tell you, loose strands is going to be juicy this week, okay, for this month. When I tell you, and the, um, she titled it A Woman of Color Dating Outside Her Ethnicity. Okay, so let's get into this, okay. Um, dear loose strands, Scott, who is German, and I am a woman of color. I go by the name, and I'm not going to mention her name, you know. But I met this gentleman in the year of 2014. And we started dating maybe a little over six months. After we met, due to the fact that I have finally settled in a place and was ready to focus on a relationship. So, okay, they build a relationship. But Scott. Okay, now let me tell you, we're about to get deep into this. You wanna, you're gonna wanna have to share this. Okay, you're going to have to wanna share this. And um, and I hope you guys can hear me because I don't have my mic, but let me get back to the letter. Um, Sky has only had relationships with Caucasian and Spanish women. Okay, so everything was going great between the both of us. And it even got to the point where we were discussing marriage. Okay, so things came pretty serious. And talking about my children, okay, so she had children, and I moving in with him. So yes, this is getting serious. Okay, I've spent the night, several nights throughout this week that wasn't an issue until the morning of July 4th, 2015. Okay. So <laughs> we are about to get deep in this letter. And again, you're going to want to have to share this. Okay. Okay. I awake and I tell him I really needed to wash my hair. Going back and forth to the beach every other day to wash it properly. Okay. So I'm glad that you realized that. Okay. Um, this particular mo moment, I said I was going to thoroughly wash my hair. We had planned a big day together to go to Orlando to watch the fireworks and eat, you know, at a party. Okay, now she said that I'm extremely girly, like the most of us, okay, aren't we all? The most of us. Okay, I'm extremely girly and light big hair. Oh, okay. Y'all get this now. Okay, she had eight packs of 24, 26, and 28 inch deep wave hair okay eight packs okay all right i was I, okay i washed and scrubbed my scalp of each track condition and let the conditioner set for about 10 minutes and okay then rinse brush to untangle and then braid it okay this process took over an hour <laughs> Ooh, shut your mouth okay now, let me tell you, as we go into this, whoo, you don't want to have to share this information because um, it is getting real. All right, loose strands. I love this, okay? When I got out of the bathroom, Scott was like, do you realize how long you was in the bathroom? Okay, you, you, an hour? This is a Caucasian man. Okay, how long does it take for them to get in the shower and out? Shower, hair is shampooed and all. But okay, but this is us. He never met us. Okay, so this is us. Okay, so he said, didn't you know how long you was in the bathroom? Okay, like how we do. Didn't pay him any attention. Like any woman wouldn't. You know, um, we don't mention how long they watch sports all day, is what she said. So I just brushed the conversation off. She said, I had some errands to run. He claimed he did also. So we were meeting back at the house at about 2 p.m. 
to head to Orlando together. Okay, so they all, you know, in the house, she's an hour in there in the, you know, um, you know, she's showering and whatnot. She has errands to run, so she don't know. Okay, he has the things to do, so he's left. Okay, before I get into, now, look, okay, deal breaker, okay, is the name of this letter, and loose strands, yes, 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 okay, wow, you guys are going to want to have to share this, okay, because this information right here just get more intense and better, okay, okay, so they were to meet back up, she said, um, I kept calling, calling, texting multiple times, but no answer. So with me being having a strong personality, I was like, forget this. I go by myself and enjoy my evening. I had no idea this man was avoiding me because of my hair until a year later. Ooh, later he reached out, okay, to me and said he was sorry and that I was a great woman. But can you imagine what turned him off? No, you guys, you guys can't imagine this because I've never heard this before in my life, okay? Loose strings. <laughs> yes, because it gets real, okay? You must share this. I'm here to tell you it gets real and deeper than this because what has been a deal breaker in your relationship? Remember now, they're contemplating on marriage. Moving in together. She has kids. She's introduced the children to him. Okay, this is um, the 4th of July, a day of celebration. You know, you're getting together. You have plans. She's running out. I mean, like, Loose strands, okay. All right, so he reached out again to say he was sorry and to tell her that she was a great woman. But what turned him off was the sound of her brushing her hair weave, brushing her weave. Now, let's sit back and just swallow that for a second. Okay, brushing your hair weave. First of all, I didn't, I didn't think when I read that. Now, does it have a sound? And um, and I, you know, so hey, so she has LOL. I was like, what the? You already know, okay? I didn't even know it had a sound. Remind you, I might have been brushing for a good thirty minutes. So as he's sitting there in bed, and I'm just gonna paint the picture because I have to paint the picture. I got to see the whole picture there. So he's just like laying in bed, you know what I'm saying? She's going in, taking her shower. She's in the bathroom for an hour. Okay, to come out, just politicking and talking. You know, 30, okay, you five minutes in. Okay, you about 15 minutes in. And he just there looking. You still politicking and talking. 30 minutes. Okay, again, it takes them five. 10 max to take a shower, shampoo their hair, and they're out, ready for the day. But you are already an hour and a half in, okay? She said it takes a good 30 minutes due to the fact that she has so much hair. Remember that she got eight bombers, eight bombers. Okay, so she has so much hair, and she was brushing it while watching, watching it to keep it from painting. He explained to me that he had never heard anything like it. <laughs> and that it was a turn off. A turn off. You got to share this. Whoever. Have you ever heard of a person? He said, you know what? Okay, those of you who are rocking your hair weaves, maybe you need to have a private conversation with your man. Say, okay, I need to know if this is turning you off because the men that I know of, you know, they got the hair in all long and, and beautiful and bouncing and whatnot. It's a turn off. So just to hear that, he was just like, mm -mm, to the point where he couldn't even come back to the house. Okay, he, I mean, he was just like, no, I'm done. 
And all he could think of was the sound of my hair. He said that all he could think about was the sounds my hair made when I brushed it. And that was the reason he called the relationship off. So I'm just saying, ladies, okay, um, you know, a little strangers. That you know, can you imagine and she had here sign, um Michelle Jones said, congratulations on your new book. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much, baby. I greatly appreciate you. And thank you so much for tuning in. She said she needs a copy ASAP. Oh, oh absolutely, absolutely. And um, and I we definitely need to get together because I tell you guys, she has an amazing book that you guys must check out as well. Okay. And I tell you, just disclosing this information when it comes to you know, the things that we go through in relationships. Again, she was about to be married and not knowing that her hair would play a part in a relationship ending, okay? Um, the ending of a relationship that could have led to marriage, okay? The, you know, it's when we think of loose strands, okay? Loose strands. And so can you imagine what this could do to a person's, um, to their self-confidence? You know, um, but now again, she stated that she did have a, a strong personality, but what if she did not, you know? And so, you know, these are the things that we must, must think about. And when I tell you in this, when I tell you, this has no, no, um, barrier when it comes to what the hair debate, my name is Morello Kane and what, you know, when it comes to interrelational relationships. You know, um, and I have clients that are in some, and their mates, you know, um, is Caucasian. And when I tell you, they absolutely love the tightest of their curl. And so not everyone is like this. You know, I, I just want to put that out there. Not everyone is like that. But now this is something that this young lady had gone through. And so, again, it was a deal breaker for her mate. And so... I tell you, these are the stories that we must share because you never know how it may help someone. Okay? So, little strings. If you have any letters that you may want to share, okay, pertaining to your hair, stories that, you know, can encourage, stories that, and I tell you, stories, good, bad, ugly, it doesn't be great to share. Add morale all things out here, okay? My name is Morello Kane. Um, it was truly, when I read this letter, I was just like, wow. I, you know, I could not wait to share it with you guys. And I tell you, you can also go on our website and we will have the letter posted on the website shortly. Okay. At morelloallthings.media. Okay. And I don't know if I gave you that email correctly. Let me give you that um, email address again. That stories at morelleonthingscare.media okay and i tell you please do share we're building a network here so share that you know but building this network is not easy i've been you know working on this platform for five years you know and so we're just getting to this point and through all the obstacles because it's not easy i never wanted to be in this position wanted to actually hire somebody to be in this position and I just put it in the back. Um, you know, but God had a different plan and so I'm just walking it out. But I'm thankful for that, you know. And um and I'm thankful for the opportunity to write the book because you're looking at someone that I didn't like in English, you know, in high school. Did not like it at all. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna just keep it real with you. If you know, having a fifty year old mindset and as a child thinking if it didn't, if I didn't see what was going to help me as my, you know, adulthood and what I wanted to do, um, then it was not important to me. So Michelle I want you to say the website one more time. What was that? Michelle wants you to say the website one more time. Um, it's morale, all things hair dot media. Yes. And if you want to purchase the book as well, um, you know, please do share that with your followers as well. If they would like to purchase the book, they can do so at their very website, morelleallthingshare.media. But when I tell you, 
being a person that failed every English class, I, grammar, comp, um, literature, every, okay? As a senior, in order to graduate, I had to take six English courses in order to graduate, okay? I, I mean, I love math to the point where I was just taking ads and I left there, but I, you know, because my concept, I didn't really make money as an adult, but I never saw this, this field, you know, this career choice in this direction. So I'm very thankful um, for it. And I tell you, do join our platform, okay? Um, on Instagram, it's at the hair debate, okay? Again, Facebook, yes, please do share with your followers, your other friends, other family. Again, we're trying to build this platform. And do join us because we have um, a designer. She is um, into fashion. Okay, and then we have um, a Haitian DJ that is going to be on the show next week. Okay, we are appearing them on our fall fashion and flair with hair. Okay, and as we approach to the winter, we're going to have to change up or something else. But yes, I do thank you guys for your support. Okay, do stay tuned. And again, you have been a part of the Hair Debate segment, Influence Me Wednesday, Lou Strand. Hair debate where we come to debate, debunk, and discover all things hair.